Now, I'm going to turn the of revealing God. I'm your host, Mark Victor. Now, we're talking about seven pillars of wisdom. We start with the law of planning and preparation. Then we went on to talk about law of knowledge and understanding. Then we went on to talk about law of association and the law of communication. Now, today we'll be talking about the law that is very important. This is the law of reverence. And that we see in Proverbs 7, 9, verse 10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. What does it really mean? You know, you see, many people know what to do when it comes to God's word. But when you have reverence, God, the fear of God is a reverence for God, respect Him. God, God, you know, He will not force His will on you. He gives you a free will. I, I have a, your action and you know, they will have consequences. So through the free will, you can choose to reverence God. That you choose God. Because what you put or reverence more is what you will obey. Bible, or Jesus saying, you can't say to man, I either serve God or you serve mammon. So when it comes to things of God, if you or probably you already know what to do about God's um, word, but because you lack the fear of God, you will not you know, respect it, but choose another decision that you feel is more important at that time. So the law of reverence allows you to make, you know, make something that should be important more important in your eyes than you actually carry it out. So that's how the law of reverence is, and it leads to holiness, and holiness brings understanding. So law of reverence brings more wisdom to a person because the knowledge of the holy is having God's understanding. God's wisdom comes to people that reverence and fear God. So that's how the principle of law of reverence is. So without the fear of God, you cannot really live out wisdom. You might have wisdom, but you don't live that wisdom out without reverence. So if you're not born again, say the prayer on the screen, because that is how you start first to have a relation with God, to be able to know God. Because knowing God makes you know more about Him, His strength, His power, and be able to reverence Him for who He is. Remember, Joseph never, you know, he was alone. Because remember, you can be alone and you can either choose to obey God or not. So he was alone, he was a woman, and the woman was trying to seduce him. Yeah, I, you know, easily I've done it and got away with it. But because he said, I fear God, that's why I'm going to do this evil. So the knowledge, of the fear of God makes you depart from evil. So it's very important. So if you're not born again, give your life to Christ by sending a prayer on the screen. If you're not born again, tell someone about Jesus Christ. So I'll see you again. God bless.